An important part of our work at the WTO is to ensure that trade supports food safety, as well as plant and animal health. WTO rules on sanitary and phytosanitary measures, you know, the SPS agreement, are a key part of how members achieve these goals. These rules ensure that members' food safety requirements are based on science and are fit for purpose. In this way, the SPS agreement protects public health while helping to minimize unnecessary trade barriers. But just having this agreement in place is not enough. Members need the skills and expertise to help them apply its principles. Now, that is why we host a dedicated course here at the WTO to equip developing and least developed countries to make better use of the SPS agreement. This year, the Advanced SPS course marks its 15th anniversary. Well, this is a very important milestone. More than 350 government officials have taken the course. They have strengthened their leadership skills and developed action plans to apply in their own countries. Over the years, we have seen participants go on to implement these plans, facilitating access to SPS-related information or helping producers meet the health and safety criteria required by markets abroad. Participants have also been able to use the plans to find uh, funding you know, to implement these projects. We often see course participants come back to Geneva, but this time around to represent their countries on SPS-related matters. Uh, this is very positive. These efforts help build the more inclusive trading system that we all want to see. So let's keep on that track and ensure that the advanced SPS course goes from strength to strength.